Hey, what's going on, guys? We're back at the tabletop, and today we're talking about something near and dear to my heart. Really, it's more near and dear to my belly button. Um, it's a weird way to start a video. But today, we're talking about the Harry's Holster Icon Rig for a snub nose. Uh, my favorite holster for a snub nose ever made, ever. Um, snub nose is a hell of a gun. A classic, an absolute true classic of a carry gun. Uh, it's been used in law enforcement capacity, backup gun, little stash gun, hideaway gun, glove box gun, whatever it is in the movies and in real life. Snub's a great piece of equipment. It's a great piece of kit. It's a great tool uh, to be utilized if you know what you're doing. It carries really well. You can tell that this one has definitely been carried. I've shown it in several videos and all the wear and tear and and, and it's all marred up and works perfectly fine. Every time I pull the trigger, it goes bang. And uh, cylinder locks up great. It's in time. It's lightweight. It's handy. It's pointable. It's shootable. It does not go out of battery. You can make contact hits with a revolver. And being up close and personal with a lot of people, a lot of fights happen on the ground or end up on the ground. Uh, this is a great answer to that. It gives you more options. Yes, limited capacity. Carry some reloads, some speed loaders. You could have friggin' loose rounds in the pocket if you had to. Uh, it works, okay? Statistically, this should be good enough, and that's been proven. Uh, but you got to have it with you when you need it. So here is the Harry's Holster Icon. Uh, this is the original one that he sent me. It's absolutely amazing. The holster is perfect, especially because it's in multicam black. You guys know that that is the greatest camo ever devised, uh, ever known to man. It's completely ambidextrous, so left or right, uh, right hand inside the waistband. And uh, just this clip... This clip is absolutely amazing. I am usually a fan, more of a fan of the soft loops. I think they're a little bit more proven, a little bit more sturdy, a little bit more stable. Uh, and when you're talking about, you know, retaining your firearm to your body, I want as much, you know, positive retention as possible. Retention is adjustable, all that. It's great. Great. Absolutely love it. I literally carry this gun probably more than any other gun that I own. Because, for one, it's super easy, it's super convenient, the, the icon rig, appendix is how I rock it, um, favoring the right side a little bit, and it, it's super comfortable, it disappears, I, I could wear just a t-shirt and be fine, even with the larger Hogue Mono Grips, um, so I can get a better purchase out of the holster, that's the other thing, you get a perfect combat fighting high tang grip out of the holster, and uh, it's just, it's a slick, slim little rig. But I have this little guy, 351C. This is a seven shot 22 Magnum. Um, same thing, J frame. This one is all aluminum, even the cylinder, the barrel, and the, the cylinder release latch and trigger are steel. I have a, a video review on both of these guns if you guys are interested in, in pocket, you know, snub nose revolvers that you can carry effectively and efficiently day in and day out. Uh, these are both great options the 642, the 351, uh, all types of stuff out there. But typically, I would carry it in this and like a little pocket holster in this you could even shove inside the waistband i've got a review on this is the black hawk tech grip and uh you know it's it's fine for around the house which typically that's what i would use this for is just a you know lounging around the house in the basketball shorts little gun i got something on me right but no what does harry do when he saw that let me get this thing out of here let's show you my david letterman impression again i've been working on that like i said all, all the practice helps. Boom. New Harry's Holsters packaging. Looks very modern. Looks sleek. I like it. I like it a lot. It's right there. Boom. I like that. And it's like the tinfoil style bags. Oh, look at that. Freshness inside. Now, I've got the second generation, the new and improved, perhaps the final design of the Icon Rig from Harry's Holsters. This one, it's not as cool because, you know, it's not multicam black. It's just regular black. I mean, I guess it goes with everything and, you know, it still works, but I, you know, multicam black, Harry, you know, you know, <laughs> I'm joking. Um, but this is, there is a slight difference. The clip on 
on the Generation 2, the newer model, is smaller in length than the standard clip. So let's see if you, can, you guys can't really see that too well. You can kind of see it there. Let's do that. So it's slightly shorter. Um, doesn't hang down as much. Still looks like it could easily be carried on like a one and a half inch or 1.75 inch gun belt, which is typically if you're wearing something bigger than that, it's a, a, a duty belt um, or a war belt, and you're most likely not going to be carrying this gun inside the waistband or any gun inside the waistband at that point but again perfect positive retention i mean the, you put this thing on it's literally damn near impossible for this holster to come off uh excellent perfect retention as far as the firearm boom not going anywhere plus this is a light gun which is nice because the holster is simple and light and there's literally no excess kydex it fits and molds to the gun perfectly this is like the ideal forget about it rig, okay? You've got, plus it's all black and, and deep concealment. You know, the, the clip is blacked out, and uh, it's actually a durable finish. I mean, this one, same thing, and it's a little bit shinier, um, you know, than this one because I haven't used this one as much because typically if I'm going out into the wild, this one stays home in the sock drawer, and uh, this one comes with me. Not because, uh, you know, 22 Magnum is a bad caliber by any means. I would definitely trust myself with this but this just carries better in basketball shorts so it's a convenience thing i just keep it around but i've been carrying it in this holster um i've carried it in this holster before before i even had this one i'm thinking about setting up a little bit of ebony and ivory and having you know some some two guns some chicago some new york reload and setting this clip up to be ambidextrous and then carry both of these at the same time i'd probably carry the 38 obviously as the primary with a few reloads couple two three reloads and then this just as a standalone maybe if i can source myself a speed loader for it or probably for a backup gun a speed strip especially in 22 magnum um but it's just, it's perfect. I love this little gun. I love a Smith & Wesson snub nose and uh, just a revolver in general. If it ain't a wheel gun, it ain't a real gun. And I'm super happy that Harry's Holsters is providing a, a quality, modern style, excellent retention, perfect pocket clip option uh, for an inside the waistband. And then even more so specifically an appendix inside the waistband holster for a J-frame. The J-frame is not dead, people. Uh, millions and millions of people own these guns. Millions and millions of people carry these guns, and they have in the past. Just because you can get a fangled, double stack, semi-auto, and, and it's all modern, and this, that, and the third... These are viable guns. These are useful guns. Uh, these are classic guns. These are tried and true proven guns. And they will continue to be forevermore. So, you know, if, 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 by all means, by all means, these are more of an expert's gun. It's not for everybody, even though a lot of people that are far from experts, myself included, have these guns, shoot these guns, carry these guns. But if, if utilized properly, there's a lot that you can do with either one of these or any caliber snub nose, uh, little Smith like this or the Ruger or the, the whatever. I happen to be a Smith guy. Um, and that's what, that's what these are made for. So I don't think this will fit a Ruger LCR. I think it's specifically for the Smith and Wesson J frames, um, which is fine because this is what you should be buying anyways, the Smith and Wesson one. And, uh, I think they're even cheaper, honestly, than the Ruger ones, and they're a better gun. But Harry Solsters, man, uh, link in the description box below. It's actually in the link tree. I will pin it in the comment section below. If you use code Terribly Tactical, you get 10% off your order. I believe the icon sells for about 50 bucks, and uh, you know you save 10% off of that. It might even be a couple bucks cheaper. But they got a wide variety of stuff. He's got you know all types of different holsters inside the waistband, outside the waistband, even with competition style rigs um, that could also be you know pushed into a tactical defensive style outside the waistband uh setup it's it's quality stuff people i've been preaching on harry's holsters for the longest time uh he's an awesome dude he's a true supporter of the second amendment and he makes really good kit uh, i'm super stoked to have this thank you harrison um absolutely love it it works out great i've been carrying the gun in it and uh, like i said i think i'm gonna set it up for like a left hand rig and then you know do Right side, left side, appendix, and carry it like that. And I think that'll be sick. Because this thing literally weighs nothing. 
you know, this is not heavy, but this is this is absolutely nothing. Like if I drop this, it might not even fall. It'll just float there. Um, mere ounces, mere ounces. But I like the design. I like the new and improved design. It's not terribly different from the original, maybe just a little bit more squared away. And uh, the, the smaller, sleeker clip should only give you more retention and more tension uh, being tighter in there. Uh, while you're carrying because most people are wearing myself included an inch or an inch and a half, you know style tactical belt um, so either way I Like it. I love it um, Tried and true works every time uh, the holsters and the revolvers So if you are carrying a snub nose Smith & Wesson you guys need to check out Harry's holsters That's that's it period point blank um Excellent kit. Excellent kit, and I literally trust my life to it. So for whatever that might be worth to you guys out there watching, um, I don't know. Check them out, though. Sick, sick stuff. Awesome stuff. Works well. And buy a wheel gun. If you don't have a revolver, buy one. There's a few of them on the shelf at your local gun shop right now. Always shop local. Support the people that support you and the things you believe in. But a uh, useful tool, if used properly, this will help you use that useful tool properly. That's the video, guys. Check the link pinned in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about Harry's holsters. I know a few of you guys out there have them, and you use them on a regular basis. So that should tell you what you need to know right there. Um, but make sure you check the first three links in the description box below of every single one of my videos. Those are to help us fight for our God-given rights to these things, okay? Inalienable rights. They can only be taken from us if we freely give them up. Let's not do that. And in fact, let's do the opposite and fight our damnness to keep them. And it's not just, oh, you know, I got my 38, but I don't want you having your Glock 17. No, because eventually this will be illegal too, even though it holds five rounds. There's 22 mag, 22 LR revolvers that hold 10 rounds. That's just barely legal. If, if it's 10 rounds and, and under, as far as the law. Think about it, people. It's not just ARs, it's not just AKs, it's not just Glocks and H&Ks and all that. It's everything. You will be left with a mere slingshot and no pebbles to put in it. Anyway, soapbox, rant aside, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Make sure you smash that notification button so you get notified when I post more videos. Uh, make sure you smash that like button. That thumbs up button helps me an absolute ton. Make sure you check out Harry's Holsters for real. He's a good dude. And uh, use the link. Use the discount code or don't even use my link. Use the discount code and you will get a discount off of anything you buy for them. And it's unlimited use. Use it as many times as you want. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned. I got a lot more cool stuff coming up. Knife, gun, gear reviews, politics, random little stuff here and there. Uh, peering into the life of Terribly Tactical day by day. But thank you guys so much for everything. And we will catch you on the next one. Peace. Thanks again, Harry.